Hi, this is my second YouTube video dealing with GRCPCB. If you haven't seen my first GRCPCB video and want to understand why I make these videos, then please watch the first one. I have been searching for such a nice and cheap service since I was a teenager. And since I found it, I am so happy with it that I wanted to share this feeling with as many people as I can. In the first video, I showed how you can order a GICPCB service from Easy EDA Online Designer. A lot of people don't want to make their own design, but they want to build a solution from somebody else which is ready and well tested. So in this video, I like to show you how you can make a GICPCB order if you have the Gerber files from someone else and if their format does not correspond to the GRCPCB requirement. As an example, I will build an Ichigo Gem, a very small computer. It was designed in Japan for primary school students for learning some basic programming. I nearly ordered one from Japan as a kit, but the shipping was too expensive compared to the kit price. So I decided to order a bare PCB only, and after collecting the necessary components, I'll build it. In the video description, you can find the link to the Gerber files. They all have the same extension, but different file names indicating which layer content is in the given file. But most PCB manufacturers require the same file name for all the files in the project with different files extensions, indicating the layer in the file. So we have to change the extensions first. On the GICPCB web page, you can find this information under the How to generate the Gerber files title. From this table, I suggest to you the three capital letters extensions. After you finish changing the file extensions, you have to rename all files to the same file name except for the extensions. Now you have to archive these files into a zip file and after that you can upload this zip file in the order menu. The following steps are the same as in the first video. Choose the quantity, the color, and finally, pay the order. Now I have only one live order, that's why I know what will be in this bag. So this will be a real opening section. This is right with DHL. And let's, let's open it easily. Ah, and here is the box with the GRCPCB logo on it. Let's open it. And yes, I got another gift pen. Now I know it is very fine, fine pen. And it is also a good gift for my relatives. And in this yellow envelope, There are the boards itself. And here you can see the dates on it, my user number, order number and so on. And let's let's open this 
bubble four and here are ten pieces of PCBs and look them oh it's a wonderful that is the original two dollar green color PCB so this this 10 PCB costed me two US dollar only it's a fantastic price and what a nice quality so it will be interesting to build this Ichigo gem little computer so the next section is the assembling so let's start the assembling this is the board nice PCB and let's assemble it first as regular I started with the resistors Now the circuit is ready. At the present I cannot insert the right USB connector because I haven't but I'm so curious how it is working that I inserted two pins red and the black for power supply and let's test it. But before we can use this device first we have to program the firmware into it. You can do it with flash magic application for macintosh or for windows and uh, you need a usb ttr converter i applied the usb ttr converter the ground connected to the, this ground point the 5 volt to the 5 volt point and here you can see the receive of this ic is connected to the transmit the green of this and vice versa the transmit connected to the receive of the USB TTR convert and the ISP pin should be grounded. Now if we switch it on with the power switch in that case it is in the programming mode. Now we can start the flash magic application. I use it on a Macintosh but this is the Windows version which is running in a Windows environment on the Macintosh operating system. Now it is starting. And the first step is to choose the right IC. That is an LPC 1114 and 102. On the Flash Magic web page, you can see how can you determine which comport is equivalent on your Macintosh comport. On Windows, it is very easy. Set the board rate to the 150 and 200 uh, programming mode. The oscillator is 12 megahertz and 
you have to erase the block which is which will be used otherwise you cannot program it and you can browse the IC with the hex file it is mentioned in the description of the video and now of course check the verify after programming it is very useful and now you can press the start button and it is programming now verifying and now it is finished and successfully programmed now you can switch it off remove this wire switch it on again and then you can use it as a small little computer you can use a terminal program or you can connect the keyboard and video display to use this device and now let's test it first of all i need a video monitor and a ps2 keyboard let's get it so the keyboard is connected this is the video, that is the power, switch it on, so let's power it up with the monitor, which is a CD player now, and it's working, let's check the keyboard, keyboard also working, let's do some basic programming, Whoa, what is working? And now I put it onto the screen. So, no, yes, and now I can switch on the LED. Now it is on, and now it is off and now i can create a blinking program now it is blinking so it is working, of course, I won't show everything about this board in this assembling video, but now you can see that it is a very easily useful small little computer, mostly for children. Now I show you the serial port usage of this computer. This is a terminal program where I can set USB serial, the speed is the same as before, and the local echo is required. Carries it a line feed, okay. You can connect it, and it is working now. There is a button, but that, that is not a reset button, that is a user programmable button. So if you enter reset. So now you can use it as a small computer, for example, how much is 2 plus 5, the answer is 7. Or also you can create programs, for example,
so you can use it. So I hope that this video was useful. Please subscribe to my channel and if you like this video then press the like icon. The necessary links are in the description so you can download the Eagle files, the firmware and you can use it. Thank you for your watching and good bye. Now it, it is a faster blinking, I modify the weight command from 60 to 5 only.